I'm not your brother. You are not wish you were. Sorry, I should have warned you. I was a commando instructor during the war. Oh, that's all right. It didn't hurt much, no. What are you doing with Magnum's car? Magnum's car? Mm-hmm. This is the property of Robin Masters, and I happen to be in his employ. What's going on? I uh, don't know what to say. So you owe me one. I'd really rather not. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I always knew you could shoot, but where'd you get this gun, Orville? Orville. Is it here? No, it's not in the book. Maybe I should have told her it was Laboul, that it was over. But I couldn't lie to Alice about that any more than I could lie to myself. I'd know Laboul when I saw him, call it fate, premonition, whatever you want. This wouldn't end until he and I met face to face and we both knew it. He figured to be on the run back to Asia if Snow White was right, and that meant a flight out of Honolulu. By dawn, the police had sent copies of the blow up to all the airlines, but it was so blurred take a miracle to recognize him. Still, I felt I knew him. Maybe Dan did too. I know who the bull is. Who? I'd missed the first flight to Hong Kong that morning, but I knew the bull wasn't on it. Don't ask me how, I just knew it. He was here, close. I could feel him. See, I survived. So did Dan, until last week. I didn't know it was him, until it was too late. And me?
There are two kinds of men at war, Magna. Those who can end life, and those who can't. But of course you know that. This isn't Nam. No. Why didn't you come back for me? Came back, Philippe. But you were gone. <laughs> 